Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Electrical Lectures. In this video tutorial, I will be discussing the difference between script and function. Whenever you are going to perform a specific functionality by using MATLAB code, you either go for a MATLAB script or a MATLAB function. MATLAB script is the simplest form of the MATLAB file in which you can write your MATLAB code in any way allowed by the MATLAB rules. In my video tutorial, I am using MATLAB 2019A. So to generate a script, you go on this option new and click the script. So by clicking this, a blank file will be opened and in this blank file, you can write your own code in any format allowed by MATLAB coding rules. Generally, it is a good practice to write a couple of commands at the start of the file which are used to clear all the variables and the command window. The first one is CLC which is used for clear screen and the second one is clear. This command is used to clear all the variables from the workspace. Now let's suppose I want to add three numbers and multiply the same numbers. So first of all, I will initialize or declare the three variables. And for example, these three variables are a is equal to one, b is equal to two, and c is equal to three. Now, the next command is the sum of these three variables. So that is sum is equal to a, plus b plus c and the next command is product so product is equal to a multiplied by b multiplied by c now it is a simple code which is adding three numbers and multiplying the same numbers and saving the values in these two variables named as sum and product now before running this script we need to save this file so you simply go here and click save and select any directory where you want to save. I am going to the default directory which is MATLAB in the documents folder. And one important point is that I can save it by any name of my own choice. So I am writing here my script.m. Now this file is saved and I simply go here and click run. So now going to command window, you can see that the file is successfully run and if I want to see the result, I will write sum here, which is 6, 1 plus 2 plus 3 and prod, which is product, it is also 6, which is 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. Now if I want to generate the same functionality by using MATLAB function, I will simply go here in the new option and select function. You can see that MATLAB has provided a built-in template to write the function. So what is the main concept of function? It takes multiple or single input arguments, perform a specific functionality and the output is returned in the output variables declared in the syntax of function. Since we are going to perform sum and product of three variables, so now, in order to proceed for this functionality, we will insert these three inputs as the input arguments and input arguments will be entered over here, which are a, b, c. And you can enter any number of input arguments over here. Right, so on the left side of this, where it is untitled 3 is written over here. So this is basically the function name. Let me write here my function. So this is the name of the function and on further left there are the output arguments. So in our case we have two output arguments. The first one is sum and the second one is product. So here is sum and the other one is prod. <coughs> now this is the function definition. Now let us write the functionality. Because it is function and the main difference between script and function is that function takes the input arguments externally. So 
we do not need to define a b c inside function we will supply the values of a b and c from outside and this function will return the sum and product in the form of output arguments so here you will simply erase these two lines and directly write sum is equal to a plus b plus c and prod is equal to a multiplied by b multiplied by c so this is the completed function now before running you need to save again and one important point that you should keep in mind that you have to save this function by the same name that you have written in the first line in the description of this function over here so here it is my function so matlab automatically suggests you and recommends you to save this file by the same name you can see that this my function is written over here so you simply click save so now to run this function you need to go either to a script or you need to go to the command window first of all let us go towards the command window here and now i write my function and inside the bracket i am writing the values of the arguments let's say the values are 2 comma 3 comma 4 so the value of a is 2 the value of b is 3 and the value of c is 4 now i simply click enter so you see it has returned only one argument why because i have not explicitly written the output arguments on the left hand side to do so i will recall the same command and now i will write on the right hand side s comma p so this s for sum p for product and here is the equal sign now if i run the same file now you can see that sum is 9 so 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 9 and the product is 24 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 is 24 so both the sum and product are returned in this particular case so this is the basic difference between script and function how you run it and how you provide the input and output arguments you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications